Welcome to another video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. This is one of many videos that are in this QuickBooks Online tutorial. In the previous video, I showed you how to record expenses for supplier accounts. Let's now look at viewing supplier accounts and viewing the expenses that we have recorded to that supplier. So let's click on Goofy Limited. You'll notice under transactions we have the expense that we recorded for $120. It was insurance, Goofy Limited, and we have the date. We can actually edit the transaction if we want by clicking on the drop down list and choosing a new category of expense. If we go back to the supplier screen and click on Furniture Limited, you'll notice that that expense has also been recorded. Let's go back to the supplier screen once again. You'll also notice that we've paid $170 in expenses in the last 30 days. This is an accumulation of the $50 and the $120 we've spent with Furniture Limited and Goofy Limited. Now you may have expenses that you want to record but you don't need a supplier account for, such as bank charges. There's no point adding a supplier account for your bank. Simply go to the left sidebar, click on Transactions and click Expenses. You'll notice our two expenses we have already entered onto the system are appearing. To add a new expense, go to the top right of the expense transactions page and click new transaction. You'll have the drop down list appear, click expense. We then have the same template appear as before. This time leave the supplier company name blank because we don't want to allocate this expense to a supplier. Let's say the payment came out of our Barclays current account and the payment was made last week, a week ago. Choose the date by clicking on the calendar. The payment method was by Bax. Let's choose the expense account. Let's put in bank charges and see if we have an account already set up on QuickBooks. We do. Bank charges. Click on bank charges. If you don't have a bank charges account, simply click on the drop down list. Go to the top and click add new. Then find the bank charges. Detail type. Make sure you have the category type as expenses and enter the details and click save. Let's find my account again. Bank charges. Let's put in a description. So let's say this was service charges. For October 2015 and it was $15 or £15. Once we're happy, once again, we can click save and close or click on the drop down list and click save and new. I'll click save and close and we're back to this screen. Now if I'm moving too quickly and losing you, just go back and rewatch videos if you're brand new to bookkeeping, this all may seem so foreign to you, but the templates and entering transactions are all very similar. You just need to make sure that if it's 
a supplier payment that you're in the supplier screen if it's an invoice you're raising for a customer that you are in the create invoice screen like I said the templates are all similar you just need to make sure you're posting the transaction to the right place and like I've said in previous videos if you have any questions please get in contact or go to my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com you'll notice that our new expense has now appeared our bank charge for $15 so it has been recorded on the system